everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial video from Church Track. Today, we're going to be talking about how to reconcile your bank account in Church Track. The purpose of reconciling your account is to ensure that each transaction in Church Track is an exact match with your monthly bank statement. Church Track Accounting gives you the ability to reconcile your bank accounts very quickly and easily. Okay, so let's get started with step one. The very first thing you're going to do is get your bank statement. So if you don't have this, you're going to need it. Okay, then you're going to go into Church Track, into the accounting screen, into your bank account, and click the reconcile button. Note that in this screen, the very first thing that you are going to see is the statement opening balance. This statement opening balance is very important because it pulls directly from your beginning balance transaction or your last statement ending balance. Okay, so it is not editable. The only way to change it is to update it in your account register. The second field that you're going to note is the statement ending balance, which you will actually take directly from your bank statement. In this case, mine's $9,972.12, so I wanted to put that in there. The statement ending balance is um, date is actually pulled directly from your bank statement as well. Um, note, not all bank statements are going to clear on the 1st and the 31st or the 1st and the 30th. It could be anywhere in any date range. It's based on the bank, okay? So to enter that date, you're going to click into the field. You will get a calendar picker. You'll get to pick the date. Mine happens to be April 6th. From here, you're going to click continue. So that's step number three. We're going to go in and now look and see our reconciliation screen. In this screen, you will note that on the right-hand side, you have your bank transactions. I'm a big picture person, so I really like to see everything I'm looking at. So I just go in and set my transaction entries to 100 so I can see as much as possible. You still may have to have tabs at the bottom for numbers, that's okay, but you're gonna get to see everything that you need to see as much as possible. Also note here that there are sortable fields here. The date is sortable, the reference is sortable, that's deposit, ACH, TRX, um, your check numbers, that kind of thing. The payee is sortable from alphabetical from top to bottom or bottom to top, and the amount. I personally sort by reference. So what I do is I sort my deposits and at the top and everything else falls in place. Obviously ACH is before D, so it, it just works that way. But all my check numbers will be at the bottom in numeric order, okay? Um, my bank statement actually happens to be set up with all of my deposits and, um, and entries of my credit entries entered at the top. So what I have to do is sort and go and find my deposits. In this case, it's gonna be my Stripe payout. Um, let's see if I can just check these off. Now, what you would do is line by line, go through your bank statement and I take a pencil because you have to be able to erase and check off each transaction as you're going. Okay. If you are working through and you see an entry that is not in church track but is on your bank statement, then you need to halt what you're doing, you need to scroll to the top of your screen, and you need to return to register so that you can enter that transaction by creating a new transaction, entering whether it's a debit or credit depending on where you're at, and, and then saving that transaction. Okay, that will allow you to go back to your reconciliation screen and continue the process. But before I do that, I want you all to note something in here. I get this question a lot in support. Um, it, when you're doing this and you have to go back, you say, well, what are those little C's? They're little lowercase C's. What does that mean? That little lowercase C indicates that a transaction has been cleared, meaning it's on your bank statement, but it has not been reconciled. A reconciled transaction will always have a capital R in place. So if you have five years worth of transactions and all there are are little Cs, the transaction reconciliation process has not been completed. You need to fix that, okay? Now, going back into my reconciliation screen. I hit continue and I keep going forward, checking off each transaction as I need to on my bank statement. I'm gonna cheat here a little bit and I'm gonna go down here and check all. I strongly do not recommend you do this because you need to verify the transactions on your bank statement. But 
for training purposes, I'm going to check it so I can get to where I need to go. Okay. When you have finished clicking all of your transactions and everything is complete, you will note that you should have a $0 difference. If you do not have a $0 difference, you have to go through your bank statement and your transaction register and figure out where you're off. This is not always easy, but it is well worth the effort. You may have to even reach out to us for a little bit of help so we can point you in the right direction. I will tell you as a nice tip, it's usually that a deposit was entered as an expense or vice versa, or you forgot to enter bank fees or you forgot to enter interest transactions, okay? That being said, if it is a zero, you're going to want to click the finished button. Finished is going to allow you to go to a screen to print your reconciliation report. You need to print this report because this is the only place that you can get all of the details that are included in this report, okay? So when I open my reconciliation report, I'm going to see all of my cleared transactions on this report. And then I will also see uncleared transactions. Please note guys, sometimes you're going to have unclear transactions because a transaction may have been entered at the end of the month and not cleared by the beginning of the month when the, the bank statement closed. That's okay. We're not worried about those outstanding transactions. They don't affect your bank statement or your reconciliation. They only affect your actual bank balance. So there is a difference there. So keep that in mind. Now, when I'm finished, I'm going to then click my return to register button and note that all of my transactions are now reconciled and they're denoted by the large capital R. Okay. Very, very important. Now you say, Lori, oh my goodness, I've got to go into the past and change a transaction. Please know that you cannot change an unreconciled transaction except for the category or the fund. You cannot change an amount. You cannot change the date. It doesn't work. So to do those sorts of changes, you are going to have to go to unreconcile these transactions. You go, oh my goodness, how do I do that? Well, you're going to go back to the reconcile button and at the top, you'll note that it says enter the following from your statement or if you need to undo a previous reconciliation, click here. When you click there, you are going to get presented with a box that tells you the amount of transactions and the date that the transactions were reconciled on. If you type yes in the unreconcile button and click unreconcile now, it's going to unreconcile all of those transactions. Note, this is one month at a time. You do not have the option to go back multiple months. You have to go back through this process for each month you need to unreconcile. Pain, but necessary, okay? So when you click on reconcile now, you get the prompt that says it's complete. You say, okay, and you go back to your button and do it again, or you go back to your account screen where you can make those modifications. So provided that everything is set up properly, this is going to work beautifully for you. So that's it for this video on reconciling bank accounts. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you need additional help, remember to visit our online support pages at churchtrack.com forward slash support. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.